No eyewitnesses, no confessions, just DNA. Decades old mysteries are being solved by a new tool, Forensic Investigative Genetic Genealogy or FIG. It's providing answers investigators never thought they would find. In 1986, British geneticist Alec Jeffries used his new DNA fingerprinting technique to solve two murders in Leicestershire. He proved the main suspect was innocent and linked DNA from both crime scenes to the same unknown killer. It was the first time DNA cleared someone who had been falsely accused and found the real killer. Within a year, the technique was helping police worldwide. But there was a limitation. Traditional DNA profiling could only identify someone if their profile was already in a police database. Vic takes the entire process further. It maps hundreds of thousands of genetic markers to find relatives in genealogy databases. From there, family trees point to suspects or victims even if they've never had their DNA tested. Crime scene DNA is compared to public genealogy databases, where people have uploaded results to companies like 23andMe or Ancestry DNA. Even a distant cousin can give genealogists the lead they need. Vic hit the headlines in 2018 with the discovery of the Golden State Killer, a serial predator linked to 12 murders, 45 rapes, and hundreds of break-ins across California. He was caught more than 40 years later and sentenced to life in prison. Since then, Vic has solved hundreds of cases once thought impossible to solve. In 2025, a boy found beaten to death in a Virginia Creek in 1972 was finally named as four-year-old Carl Matthew Bryant. DNA from just millimeters of his hair led investigators to his relatives in Philadelphia and to his mother Vera Bryant and her boyfriend James Hatchpeth who found were responsible for the murder. Both are now dead, but genetic genealogy closed a 53-year-old case. From giving names to unidentified victims to unmasking offenders hiding in plain sight, Vic has reshaped the way justice is pursued. Because no matter how much time has passed, DNA still speaks volumes.